Hi, I'm Bob Shrump, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, uh, a lot of people would like to get a little more flexibility, so we, we're going to show the best stretching technique known ever. And it's actually what we, in uh, medical terms, we call PNF uh, technique, uh, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. It's called contract, relax. You don't need to know all that. We're just going to show you. So if you want to get more flexibility, um, in your hamstring, or you were talking about karate, right? Right, right yep. Uh, myself, uh, seventh or second degree black belt in karate. I, right now, I've been retired, but for 17 years, I was active in karate. And anybody who is in karate or the martial arts, one of the goals is to kick higher, get your legs way up there, get that flexibility, which requires the groin muscles to be flexible, and the hamstrings are the two big ones to. To throw those nice round kicks and side kicks and uh, tornado kicks and everything else that really look pretty. So I'm going to refer to that a little bit. Okay. Well, let's start off with uh, which we want to do a hamstring first. Yeah, let's so, do a hamstring. Do you want to do it on me? Sure. Do do it on you? Sure. We want to we, let's uh, let's do it on you. Okay. Bob. Now Whoa. we're not going to tell you the mechanism behind this. We're just going to show you how to do it. Right. So right. we're trying to stretch this hamstring right here. Right. So if we'll show you how to do it yourself too. Right. But, so if you're throwing that front kick, boy, this is the ideal stretch for that for all the martial artists. Lonnie, like you got him? You, you don't cut my head off, Lonnie, or maybe you should because <laughs> nobody needs to look at that okay. anyway. It's kind of depressing. Okay, knee should be straight. Don't do this with a flexed knee, okay? And I'm just going to go up to the point where I feel a stretch. It doesn't go any further. Okay, now Bob... What I want you to do is, with your knee straight, push into me as hard as you can. Push, 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 and so relax. If Brad wasn't there, I would be pushing the leg down like right, this. Right. You're always pushing in the opposite direction of what the stretch is. This works so, good on the floor, by the way. This is the contract part, by the way. Right. So I'm contracting. One, two, three, four, five. Now I relax. And while, when I relax, Brad pushes it further. And an important thing for Bob to do is take a deep breath and just relax and let the muscle stretch. We're not forcing it all the way, kind of him, but he wants to think about letting that muscle go. Think about your muscle being butter on a hot summer day in the sun, and it's just broom, just mushing right out and relaxing. So now you'll move it up to the new spot, move it up I can a relax. Move it up an inch or two, and then I do it again. I push one, one. two, three, four, five. And then he tries to go further. So Ooh, look at that. That's probably it, I think. <laughs> yeah. One more time. One, one, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm pushing down. And relax, and Bob. Now Bob said over. that was about it, but I think we can go one more. I bet more. you could go one more. A yeah. little bit exactly. more. And push, Bob. One thousand one. Three, one, four, one. five. And relax. Okay. So now when I do this with a patient, and you can see I actually did go further now. Oh yes. <laughs> it really, it really does. Nice. The verbal cues for if you're doing this with someone or you're coaching someone or like me with a patient, I'll say, okay, ready? Push, push, Bob, push into me. Push, 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 and relax. Relax, relax. I'm going to go a little bit farther. Just relax and push. 1,001. We're going to go up to five. I'm not going to go through it and relax. And you'll keep doing that. You should not create any sharp pains in the muscle. If you do it, it's too much. Now, if you're trying to do it yourself, you could do it with a belt mm -hmm. or a sheet. Sure. And here I'm going to go up, and now I'm pushing down. One, two, three, four, five. Don't let it go down. Right. Don't, let it, don't give up an inch at all. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Then I relax. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, look at you shake, Bob. Relax, yeah. So that's the hamstring. Let's show the hip flexor, Brad. Sure. How would you do that? Would you lay down flat on your stomach, maybe? Yeah, we can we can do that. You know, this is one of those things that really works best with two people. But if you're by yourself, you can still do it. Again, you can do it with a belt too, right, Fred? Sure. Or a sheet. I don't like that sheet option. I know okay. Bob likes the sheet. I don't like the sheet. But All you right. can certainly use it. You know what I like to do with a belt? I usually go like this. Sure. And I gotta. There you go. There. So, now on this one, you're going to go ahead and pull it back as far yeah. as it'll go. And I'm going to push this that direction. Right. There you go. But I'm going to hold it. And push, 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 push. Ah, and relax. Pull a little pull bit. further. Push, 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 push.
much see my face. Ah, yeah, people and relax. relax. Oh, yeah. Now, if I take my knee and I go up off the table, I even get a little more stretch. And I'm going to push, 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 push. <sighs> and relax. And relax. All right, let's this show them. really a nice way to do it, Bob. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah. Why don't you show the, the groin yet, too? Oh, yeah, that's an uh, uh, important one in karate, isn't it? Yeah, if you're throwing your round kicks or your hook kicks, side kicks, all those pretty ones like that, tornado kicks, when you come around and do that spin kick that they always do in movies, you got to have those groin Check muscles, north, the, baby. Or the hip abductor muscles. This is one way to do it. And this works really good by yourself, actually. Grab your ankles, feet together, and then elbows here. And I'm just going to stretch a little bit, and then I'm going to contract. So my knees are going to come up this way, but I'm going to limit that and do that isometric contract and push, push, push. So you're kind of closing the clamshell there. Yeah, right? and now I'm going to go down a little bit further. Take a breath. And if you're in the martial arts, you all know all about breathing because you talk about that since you're a white belt. Just learn how to breathe, breathe, relax, and focus, and all those things. Chi and depend on what uh, what discipline you're in. I'm going to do it again. Contract, contract, and relax. And you can see my knees going down further and further, and it's starting to get a little less comfortable. Bob, I'm getting sure. the stretch. I'm going to push again. Not comfortable. Not oh bad. yeah. Oh yeah. And relax. Okay, very good. It's oh, good. All right, Brad, I don't want to have any mistaken notion here, though, that just because you got a second degree black belt, that I couldn't kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Alvita Zane from the Germans. <laughs>